it around you. So we can get into this video because today we're gonna be talking about hair care, yay! Obviously my hair is really straight in this video. Normally my hair obviously is not straight. My hair is naturally, um, I wouldn't really say curly because I think my hair was way more curly when I was a kid. Um, now it's definitely more of like a beachy wave kind of situation. I think if I took even better care of my hair, it would definitely be more curly. So I kind of want to get into that and learning how to do that. The goal for this year was to grow out my hair super long. So as you can see, it's down to above my belly button. I cut my hair into a super short bob last summer, I believe. The reason I cut it super short to begin with was because two years ago, I dyed my hair like five times in one week. I bleached it, I dyed it blue, which came out blotchy, so I don't even have pictures. Um, and then I dyed it brown and then black. My skin really, not my skin, <laughs> what? Skin diaries are still in my mind. My hair really, really suffered after that. It was just dry and crunchy and I had zero curls whatsoever. So I really had to kind of double down on hair products and figure out how to fix it up. Um, in the two years that I've been doing that, I've learned a lot of cool tips and tricks for how to dye your hair this color if you don't wanna go to a salon because I have been coloring my hair for four months now in quarantine because I don't really think it's like a necessity for me to go to a salon right now. I can do it myself. And also tips and tricks for how to keep it shiny and healthy and straightening curly hair. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. When I was a little kid, my hair was blonde, super, super blonde. I spent a lot of time out in the sun and I used to put lemon in, in my hair as a kid. So a lot of that could have factored into me being blonde every day of my life when I was a kid. But right now, as an adult, I know for a fact that my natural hair color is basically the color of my eyebrows. It's like an ash brown, if that makes sense. When it shines in the light, it doesn't really have a reddish tint. It kind of looks almost gray, my natural hair color. It's kind of strange. I still have a little bit kind of left in here that you can see. But for the most part, I think my roots are dyed. As I got older, I definitely kind of embraced the browner hair. I had a brown hair phase of my life for like six years, like all of high school and some of university, I think. And then halfway through university, I realized I wanted to dye my hair back to blonde, like when I was a kid. Kind of when my Instagram social media thing started to happen as well. So I'm sure some of you guys remember that. But it's super short and I do love short hair. I think it's so airy. Honestly, I really wanna cut my hair short. Every time I have my hair super long, I want a bob. And then when my hair is super short, I miss the really long hair. So I'm sure you guys can relate, but I really do wanna cut it soon, maybe. But as I said, I've been coloring my hair myself. I kind of go for like an icy, ashy blonde. Obviously, you can see here, it's it was more pronounced than some of my other videos. The purple shampoo I've been using has kind of stained, so I do want you guys to be wary of that when you're using the products. For the most part, if you do it right, it shouldn't really stain. I think it, this is because I left it in for a really long time. For quarantine, I was going to Spoke and Wheel here in Hollywood, and I was seeing the color specialist, Jessica. I came to her with really really bleached hair from korea that was just kind of yellowy it didn't have an icy tone at all and i had a lot of dark root on the inside i only had half of my hair bleached so the whole inside part was still brown obviously you can see it's a little darker but it is blonde when i went to see her she kind of transformed my hair this is what it looked like um i think after one of the first times i got it done with jessica they do miss that hair like i felt so cute back then obviously quarantine happened and salons closed up and they are back open now but i'm not really sure about going to a salon right now the way i've been doing my hair is i'm sure maybe brad mondo is gonna see this and hate me <laughs> i'll leave it up to you guys to tell me in the comments whether what i'm doing is okay for my hair or not i mean it looks pretty healthy, so, and I don't really have 
split ends anymore. I used to have a lot. First thing that I use in order to kind of dye my roots because they do grow in brown. I will either use Sun In, don't have it because I used the whole bottle. <laughs> or I use this John Frieda. This is a new one I've been trying and I actually really love this. John Frieda Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray. This product is really interesting because I feel like it almost makes my hair blonder in a nicer way than Sun In would. I feel like Sun In gradually turns my brown hair from like reddish brown to orange to blonde and it's like a really yellow blonde and then I have to tone a lot with purple shampoo. This is really cool because you can spray it on specific parts. Let's say you want to do like the e-girl hairstyle. I could literally just take my bangs and you know spray this just on my bangs and it should if it does what it says, lighten just my bangs. I really like this product. Like I said, I'm kind of new to it, but it seems to be working just fine and my roots feel really healthy. I usually have a lot of little hairs sticking up at the top. You know, those little breakage pieces and I do have them here, but I always have them here. If you look, I don't really have that many. So I'm kind of happy with this product and how healthy it's keeping my hair while, you know, dyeing it the color I want. Usually after I spray that on and sit in the sun or just let it marinate or whatever I'm doing, I will shower at night because it doesn't feel that great to keep that in your hair. As soon as I'm ready to take a shower, I will put this purple shampoo just on my roots. Um, this one is the L'Oreal Paris LV Color Vibrancy Purple Shampoo. I will literally just put this on my dry hair on the roots or the parts that are really orangey and let this kind of sit and marinate for about 30 minutes. And I will head into the shower and wash this off. It does say in the directions that you should leave it on for one to three minutes. I usually leave it in for 30 and I'm fine. I don't know if that's okay. And then I'll usually follow it up in those specific parts of my hair only, not on the whole, hair because I think that's how I got this purpley shadow here. I kept using purple shampoo in an area that didn't really need it anymore and it was kind of depositing the purple color because I was doing it too much. Really important that you focus this on the areas that really need it and not on the whole head of hair every single time. I will leave this on while I'm, you know, doing my body wash, then you're gonna wash this off. And then usually I like to follow that up with either if I was like at the beach, another shampooing, just like a normal shampoo, maybe something hydrating. I have been loving this one actually. This one's the Extra Strength Refreshing Scalp and Tea Tree Mint by OGX. This one feels so nice. There's something about minty shampoo that I really, really like the feeling of. I don't think everyone's gonna like that, but you know, give it a try. In the summer, I think it really feels so good. <laughs> what I do always do is follow up that purple conditioner with another conditioner. So this is the conditioner I've been using. I do actually really like this one. It's the Extra Strength Hydrate and Repair Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner by OGX. This one smells really good too. Oh my God, it just like, oh, it smells so fresh. This is really nice. I usually will leave this in for um, a few songs as well. When this is in my hair, I will brush it out with a wet brush. And the one I really like and have been using is, there's some hair in it, the Knot Doctor for Con Air. I just woke up to like my throat <laughs> from talking so much. I'm literally losing my voice for you guys at nine in the morning. I really like this one. It's nice even when your hair is dry, to be honest, but it is made for in the shower brushing. I didn't start brushing my hair in the shower until really kind of quarantine started, or was it when I started wearing my hair curly more? That was during quarantine, wasn't it? I didn't really start brushing my hair in the shower until then, just to kind of separate the curl. I feel like it really does help to use a wet brush in the shower. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree and say like, don't brush your hair, but um, I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet, but 
I do like doing this right now. On the days that I feel like I don't have that much yellow or brassiness, I do skip out on the purple shampoo and I will go for this John Frieda Go Blonder Lightning Shampoo. This is really, really good in combination with that spray because it's the same brand. I do use the conditioner as well right after, the lightning conditioner. I will usually leave this on for a little bit, but it doesn't say you have to leave it on, so I'm not sure. I'll leave it on for like a couple songs each. This is really nice and it hasn't been you know, making my hair really dry at all. I feel like the purple shampoo, when I wash it out, I can feel my hair just being dry. After this shampoo, my hair does not feel that bad at all. So I really do like this. And my hair color right now is definitely the lightest and brightest I've gotten on my own. I think I'm gonna continue to do this for probably a very long time. I don't know if I'm gonna need to go back to hair salon anytime soon. So the last topic I want to touch on is straightening my curly hair. Um, a lot of you guys ask how I get it so straight, so how I get it silky. I've been straightening my hair since I was so young, to be honest. Straightener I do love right now is this Chi one. I don't think it's like a special crazy straightener by any means. It's just like a normal one. I like the shape, the rounded shape. For the hairstyle that I used to do where you have like the nice big curls, this rounded shape is really good to twist. Now this isn't on, but I'm just showing you to twist and make those curls. I do recommend something rounded, especially if you want to add a little texture. This product I feel like has really, really, really saved my hair and especially on days that I want it to look straight and silky. Like this is summer, okay? We are in 90 degree weather. I am hot under this really big ring light and look at how silky smooth my hair looks. And this is like, from last night straining it. The thing I love is Chi, their Silk Infusion Silk Reconstructing Complex. All I used was some on my hair last night before straightening. I literally had these crunchy parts down here, which they're still a little crunchy, you can see, but it really kind of relaxed them and told them to calm down. I really love this stuff. If you're having like a really dry hair moment, especially after going to the beach or using any of these like lightning products, this will save your hair. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but all of these products are super, super cheap. You know, drugstore options that are gonna kind of be harsh on your hair just because, you know, you're doing your hair at home, you're saving money, not going to the salon. So in a way, treating your hair to one little expensive product is a good thing. Try to at least get a mask or like a silk infusion thing that is a little more high end and has better ingredients that are really gonna you know, quench my hair. Really meant for this to be a short video, but I guess there was a lot to talk about. I still feel like I could make a whole video about just, you know, my transformation with the curls. If you wanna see more hair care videos, I can definitely do that. Let me know down below. Please make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I hope you really enjoyed this one. There are lots more coming, so I can't wait to see you then. Thanks for watching. Oh. Don't forget, my Instagram is a Brillo Rios and my Twitter is a Brillo Louisa Rios. <laughs> okay, bye.